Hello, I'm Heidi Campbell, and this is discussion 5.2 um, about digital citizenship and promoting it in our schools. Um, after reading over Ribble's book, um, I discovered that he broke this down. He broke down the whole idea of digital citizenship into nine. Uh, I thought I would look mostly at digital literacy, even though I my brain started going crazy thinking about all the other elements and how I could get those worked into in the media center. Um, so from the perspective of digital literacy, um, I think this year I've really kind of worked on this. Um, this has been my first year as a media specialist. And so I've really worked hard to bring classes in here and collaborate with other teachers. Um, so I would, I think that the way I wanna continue to work on this digital literacy is by creating hands-on activities for kids. The way that I've done this is, I just had a class in here last week, as a matter of fact, um, and I introduced them to a particular database that they could use. Um, we actually used the Gale Opposing Issues database, and I had them follow. I had it on the big screen, so I had the digital kids on the Zoom and the face-to-face -face kids in person, and I actually walked them through while they did it on their own devices um, so that they could truly see the usefulness of using this particular resource. Um, one of the things I pointed out was that, you know, if you just Google to find articles, you have to create your own citations. And if you use these databases, um, they make the citations for you. It's so easy. Life is so good as a kid these days. Um, so, you know, trying to point that out to them. And I think that they got a lot out of it um, by being able to do it themselves. Um, so I've also worked on creating a few different scavenger hunts um, through the databases that I've rolled out to all different subject areas, depending on which one they are, um, to get kids to really dig into these databases that are so brimming with, with resources for them to use for their courses. So um, the next part of the question, that was question one. The next part of the question, part two was, what do you teach? What do you do as a media specialist? Um, and quite honestly, I've heard this honestly several times in this inaugural year of mine. Um, and so my answer is this. What do I teach? Well, it depends what day you come in here. Because on any given day, I'm teaching all sorts of things. Um, I teach science classes, how to navigate through different databases. Um, I share Web Express resources with social studies classes. I explore culture grams with foreign language classes. Um, I collaborate with teachers all over the building. I'm a skills teacher. I'm a promoter of reading. And I'm an organizer of learning opportunities. Um, so there's my, there's my answer. Um, number three asked what I've, how I've grown as a learner. And I would say that I've really grown as a learner um, from this class, particularly in the area of resources. I have gotten so many fantastic resources from this course um, that I will truly use, and I've already used some of them. There was a one of the resources in our multiple toolkit um, was one that showed using Google Slides um, as note-taking um, options. And I just used that last week with a class that was in here doing research. Um, and it worked really well. And they were able to sort their slides to get them in an order that they could use. And then they turned them into, to, um, they turned their research into uh, videos. And they were fantastic. So that was exciting. Um, I've also learned that I can watch 
other people do their job and learn a lot from them. So I got a lot out of the research transaction observation activity, um, and I've actually used some of the techniques that those professional librarians used um, in helping my own students here at the high school level to f dig deeper and 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 hone in on what they are really trying to look for. So. Um, I, I think observing is a great thing. So I'll look forward to, um, you know, I jumped into this media specialist job without f having finished this program. Now, granted, I have two classes left, so I'm almost done, but um, I will look forward to the practicum where I actually get to take some time to go see other media specialists and what how they do what they do. Um, I have this year gotten to go, I have a mentor in my county who I've, I've gotten to go and, and visit. Um, and I do find that just, watching and observing is really a helpful thing. So um, I'll be looking forward to that. But the resources that we've been able to explore in this class have really helped me gain a lot of great insight and, and think up some really good ideas to use with my faculty. So thank you.